Saturday, April 25th. UWC Ultimate Warrior Challenge and SureDog.com presents UWC Capital Punishment. Text VIP to 30644 for a chance to win the ultimate VIP Fight Night Package. Saturday, April 25th, UWC Capital Punishment. Saturday, April 25th, 2009, the UWC will continue with the goals that we have set out to grow MMA on the East Coast, to be pioneers of the sport, to uncover the next great champions of tomorrow. We are working diligently to continue to help grow MMA. We are working to help uncover some of the next great champions of tomorrow. We think that we found some of those in uh, the up-and-coming UWC fighters. We are committed to bringing some of the best MMA anywhere, anytime, any place to you Saturday, April 25th, coming to you from the George Mason University Patriot Center, UWC 6, Capital Punishment. What I like about the UWC is they go out and they recruit the best fighters. Um, so the matchmaker, like Joe Silva in the UFC, goes out and he finds the most exciting fights. UWC is doing the same thing. They're getting fantastic fighters that have a very high skill level, and they're matching them against opponents where they know that there's going to be a lot of action. I believe on the East Coast and in the Mid-Atlantic and beyond that, the UWC has a significant amount to offer. There are serious athletes, serious camps, guys who are going to go to the top. What they need are legitimate promotions and legitimate opponents. And when people and organizations can put those together consistently, successfully, they can't be stopped. I believe 2009 is a time for UWC to really put its stamp on the MMA scene. Saturday, April 25th on UWC 6 Capital Punishment, we are following through with our commitment to continue to bring some of the best MMA that you can find anywhere, committed to bringing and growing and uncovering some of the next great champions of tomorrow. So what you're going to see is some of the guys that you've seen in some of the other shows that have been rising up through um, the UWC to bigger and better things. That's high. That's it. you got, of course, Mike Easton defending his belt for the first time uh, in, a, in a very short period of time. And, and he said, Marcella, I want to fight. I'm not, I don't want to rest. I want to continue to defend my belt. I love this belt and uh, nobody's taking it away from me. So, of course, Mike the Hawk Easton in his uh, first title defense at UWC Capital Punishment. It's been really interesting to watch the progression of the matchmaking for Jamal. Uh, people have been lining up because they want a shot. He's a big name. If they can knock him off, that's really gonna help their career. Here we go, we're gonna make some news right now. Any idea who that's gonna be? Yeah, you know, we have been holding back on a lot of the names on the card, but we will uh, let everybody know that, uh, you know, Jamal, we picked a guy named um, uh, Ryan Jimmo to uh, fight um, Jamal on the upcoming show. Um, there was a lot of different people that wanted the spot, and we looked at all those the different different matchups, and some made sense to us, but didn't to them, and vice versa. But uh, Jimmo is 9-1. and one. He's coming out of Canada. You know, um, Jamal beat Antoine Britt in a, in a pretty pretty quickly with a with a, a guillotine choke on the last show, and uh, there's a lot of talk about Ryan Jimmo and, and and Antoine Britt being very similar in their up and coming status. I think that Britt actually does have a win over Jimmo in some capacity. I'm, I'm not sure of all the uh, you know the facts there, but Jimmo's a really tough guy. He's going to be looking out for the mistake that was made by Britt. And, uh, you know, so I expect fireworks from that fight. And it certainly is another example of the um, best up and coming uh, light heavyweights out there. Your winner, Ron um, Of course, Ron Stallings, the choir boy, who has been, uh, you know, dominating his last two opponents, uh, came off a vicious knee to the uh, chin, an immediate knockout of uh, Whisper Gorilla Goodman. Um, of course, Marcus Ferran and the, you know, the no contest between Richie Hightower. It was unfortunate and we've never had a uh, no contest or a disqualification in a UWC and I, I personally don't want to see a fight end that way and so we're going to let that one happen again and go, hopefully it'll go to the distance. 
guys like Jose Villarisco, amazing up and coming talent that uh, got a huge response from the fans and it's a huge in, uh, demand for him to come back and uh, he's on the way up in, in his up and coming MMA career. Uh, you know how Wi-Fi is going to be exciting, it's going to be going, going to be speed, action, power, jumping, <laughs> whatever, all that good stuff. So you guys make it up there, you know, support me and uh, have a good time, all right? Talk about a guy who had made a name for himself on the amateur circuit in the Washington, D.C. area. This is it. This guy absolutely murdered his opponents, one after the other. I don't think I've seen a single fight of his that was even close. Guys like Chris McRae, the Savage, you know, started his pro MMA uh, career with the UWC after a, a, a string of just, you know, just destroying all of his opponents. I think 9-0, and 10-0 as an amateur. He's now 2-0 and in the UWC and uh, is rising up pretty quickly. By knockout, Rashad Wood! We're, we're bringing uh, Rashad Woods back onto the card. A, an incredible stand-up Muay Thai kickboxer. Uh, fought for us at 185 pounds back in the Invasion show and is making his uh, debut at 170 pounds. Going to be a phenomenal fight. Text VIP to 30644 for a chance to win the ultimate VIP Fight Night package. Guest appearances by The Huntington Beach Bad Boy, Tito Ortiz, and more. Saturday, April 25th, UWC Capital Punishment at the Patriot Center.